Hi there. My name is Neil Blevins, and this is part two of a uh, video discussing how to do blended cube projections. And uh, if you haven't seen it already, please watch part one of this video, and that will show you the basic technique. But um, it's been a number of years since I uh, originally posted that video, and I have a little update that I would like to show you. So in the original video, I showed you using a plugin called Camera Map Gemini in order to uh, project um, images onto the six different sides of this object here. And um, after I did the video, um, might have been like a year or two later, the plugin did not get recompiled for more recent copies of Max, and I think it remained unrecompiled for about two years which meant that people were kind of stuck either using an old version of Max if they wanted to use the technique or they um, oh, they could use a new version of Max but then they, they couldn't uh, use uh, the technique, at least not the camera map Gemini version. And so it has since been recompiled so um, if you uh, need it it's available for Max 2015 and 2016. Um, however there's no sure thing that it'll, it'll get recompiled for uh, newer versions that come out. And so I wanted to show you an alternate technique that doesn't require the plugin. It's not as good, um, but it can produce pretty similar results. So this is a more uh, recent copy of my Blended Cube Projection Maker plugin, uh, sorry, script, um, that you can get from uh, my website. And up here, uh, when you're creating the map or creating the mapping modifiers, you have several modes. And you can see here under Create Map, you can use the Fall Off method, uh, method or the Camera Map Gemini method. And then under the modifier, you can either use the Camera Map Gemini method or the UV mapping method. And when it comes to the modifiers, this is exactly the same as the first video. But if you don't have Camera Map Gemini available to you for whatever reason, because of the, the Max version or whatnot, you can always use the UV mapping method. And I just wanted to show you an example of using this so you can see wh what the differences are. So you select your objects. You hit Apply. And there we go. So you can see that uh, much like the camera map Gemini uh, method, it does produce six cameras uh, from the six different sides. But the difference is, is that these cameras are just for reference. So the camera is not actually projecting the uh, texture. If you select uh, these objects here, you'll see that they have um, UVs set up on them. So it's actually projecting the, uh, the textures through these UVs on the surface, these planar UV sets. But the camera is lined up to match that. But now the big disadvantage, of course, is that if you uh, move the camera, um, if you use the camera map Gemini method, it would still project through the camera. But in this case, it's still projecting through these UVs. So if you move the camera, the camera is now misaligned. Uh, with the, uh, the UVs, in which case the camera, uh, if you render through the camera, you're going to get incorrect results. But uh, otherwise, it's basically uh, the same thing. So you want to, once you set up the six cameras, you um, this uh, script here is another script in my script pack. Uh, this one's called Camera Map Template Renderer, and this replaces the Camera Map Gemini Renderer. And this one, you can do the, the Camera Map Gemini method, but you can also use selected cameras. So you select your six cameras, you use selected cameras mode, you hit apply, and it'll write out uh, templates for all of the six different directions, just like you did before. And then those will, uh, once you paint it on them, it will then line up properly with the UVs that are actually doing the projecting here. Uh, and you get exactly the same results. So it's, it's basically the same thing. It's just uh, you don't need the Camera Map Gemini um, uh, plugin in order to get it to work. And it uh, doesn't work quite as well because um, it's not actually projecting through these cameras. So you don't want to move the cameras after you've done it, and you don't want to move any of these projections so that things continue to line up. So if you're ever in a situation where you can't use Camera Map Gemini, uh, this other method is pretty much just as good. It'll produce the same visual results. It's just not quite as flexible as uh, with the plugin. But if you're stuck, then uh, you can still use the technique. You just have to use this other method. And um, I'm continuing to put pressure on Autodesk to hopefully maybe one day incorporate um, a, ca a camera map like Camera Map Gemini into the software, and then we won't have to worry about this in the future. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, please visit my website, neilblevins.com, and click on CG Education for more tutorials. Um, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and um, then you'll be notified next time I post new videos on various CG subjects. Thank you very much.